A Chinese autonomous underwater vehicle has dived deep into the South China Sea, according to Naval News. The drones may also have the potential to carry and launch missiles. China showcased an advanced underwater drone, the UUV-300CB, at an exhibition in Malaysia, as both Washington and Beijing raced to develop uncrewed underwater vehicles UUV. Chinese company Polytechnology displayed a scale model of the underwater drone. Incorporating a cutaway showing its internal structure, at the Defense Services Asia exhibition in Kuala Lumpur, maritime affairs-related platform Naval News has reported. The UUV-300 series of extra-large uncrewed underwater vehicles XLUUVs are intended to be armed and exported, underscoring Beijing's determination to develop autonomous underwater weapons. The emergence of the UUV-300 series comes as the capabilities of uncrewed underwater drones are rapidly improving. The recent Russia-Ukraine conflict has accelerated this technological revolution, reshaping naval warfare. China and South Korea have taken the lead in promoting armed UUVs which allow remote delivery of payloads over vast distances while keeping human crews out of harm's way. China's willingness to export the UUV-300 gives Beijing an edge over Western nations in proliferating disruptive undersea drone technologies. The UUV-300's quoted range of 450 nautical miles 834 kilometers, is modest but realistic. They will be capable of carrying sea mines and smaller UUVs and of firing lightweight torpedoes, as demonstrated by its UUV-300CD variant, according to Naval News. The drones may also have the potential to carry and launch missiles. The UUV-300CB is 11.5 meters 38 feet long and weighs 50 tons. The UUV-300 may be derived from previous XLUUV developmental models tested near China's Hainan Island. Beijing has aggressively pursued at least five distinct XLUUV designs, several much larger than the UUV-300. Based on drones in the water, and efforts at defense shows, China is leading the world in this emerging technology. Chanlong-3, a Chinese autonomous underwater vehicle AUV, has dived deep into the South China Sea, undertaking a nearly 100-mile, 42-hour voyage. It looks like a clownfish from Finding Nemo, though the cute look belies serious capability. It has a forward propeller in the eyes and the mouth is a navigation sonar. Its vertical tail has a magnometer, which is useful for detecting metals like manganese nodes or foreign submarines. With a maximum operating depth of around 14,800 feet underwater, this 1.5-ton, 11-foot-long robot submarine will take the lead in China's underwater scientific ambitions. China's underwater Great Wall of networked seabed sensors and long-endurance UUVs like the Chanlong-3 and the Haiyan Glider are tasked with identifying enemy submarines, mines, and other UUVs. Considering long-standing Chinese deficiencies in anti-submarine warfare, deep-sea drones like the Chanlong-3 have applications beyond the economic sphere. They can also collect valuable data about enemy submarine acoustics and oceanographic conditions for improving stealth and anti-stealth measures. Meanwhile, Chinese naval warfare has plans for swarms on the seas and in the air and, private Chinese firms are pitching multi-hulled robot warships and a 56 USV swarm for militarized purposes. As China pushes for the lead in other future naval technologies like floating nuclear power plants. Underwater mining and robot freighters, it is clear that smart UUVs like the Chanlong-3 will find an ever-expanding set of missions. Built by the Shenyang Institute of Automation, the colorful Chanlong-3 looks like a clownfish from Finding Nemo, though the cute look belies serious capability. It has a forward propeller in the eyes and the mouth is a navigation sonar. Its vertical tail has a magnometer, which is useful for detecting metals like manganese nodes or foreign submarines. The United States is also developing these systems, such as the Manta Ray, built by Northrop Grumman in collaboration with the U.S. Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency DARPA. In February and March, the 12-meter 39-foot-long Manta Ray UUV underwent in water testing off the coast of Southern California. On May 5, DARPA said a full-scale prototype of the Manta Ray drone had completed its first sea test. The Manta Ray prototype has so far demonstrated that it can be transported by standard shipping containers and rapidly deployed. 
The craft is designed with several payload bays of multiple sizes and types to enable a wide variety of naval mission sets. Meanwhile, Chinese naval warfare has plans for swarms on the seas and in the air and, private Chinese firms are pitching multi-hulled robot warships and a 56 USV swarm for militarized purposes. The development of underwater drones reflects China's interests in underwater mining, deep sea energy, and robot ships for civilian freight and military swarms. China is looking to establish itself as a leader in robotic warships, having made plans to open the world's largest facility for unmanned ship research just north of Macau. The Wanshan Marine Test Site is slated to span 225 square nautical miles of water and islands. It will reportedly be equipped with satellite navigation, electro-optical sites, sonar, and data links. Wanshan will test technologies like autonomous steering and obstacle avoidance, which are already seen on swarming robot boats developed by Chinese universities and defense contractors. In addition to testing out unmanned technologies, Wanshin will be instrumental in developing the tech standards and certifications. The test site will partner with the Zhuhai Municipal Government, China Classification Society CCS and notably the Wuhan University of Technology, which is home to much cutting-edge Chinese naval research, including electromagnetic technologies and aircraft carriers. Zhaoshan Xinya Shipyard on the Yangtze River in China While China is the world's largest shipbuilder by tonnage, it's also moving up the shipbuilding value chain to challenge Japan and South Korea. This includes building increasingly sophisticated superships like large containerized freighters, liquidized natural gas carriers, and maritime engineering ships. Model of the China robot warship D-3000 on display on the civilian side, the work at Wanshan could give China a greater say in setting standards for 21st century infrastructure and AI users. As for the military side, unmanned systems have a range of applications for logistics and combat. The latter is demonstrated by the US Navy's recent work on its unmanned Sea Hunter vessel. Robotic warships could handle anti-submarine missions, mine countermeasures, long-endurance patrol, espionage, and port security.